Diane in Denmark here. Let me get the timer started. Hooray! It is a Tuesday, which in Fly Lady Land is Plan and Play Day. Now, I've already had my play this morning. I don't know if you noticed, I haven't uh, actually styled my hair yet today. Um, I got up early this morning and you know, I've been complaining and complain, complaining about this heat that we have in Denmark right now. Went down from a morning swim very early and gosh, it was, it was like 27 degrees this morning. So I just got here there. Uh, and Bibika and Helena, my Danish besties, they're, they're both away this week. So I was on my own, no, not completely on my own, never, never swim alone. I was with all the, the old ladies at the club and uh, I took my breakfast with me. I don't know if you can see there, I had my flying lady travel mug with me and my breakfast. Uh, so it was a great start to the day. I haven't, I haven't done, done my hair yet, but anyway, it is looking all right. I'm, I'm going for the fluffy, <laughs> the fluffy look today. And on, on the subject of this heat wave that we've been having in Denmark, and, and I know I shouldn't complain because come, you know, November uh, in Denmark when, when it's like dark at two o'clock in the afternoon and it's freezing, I, I will remember this lovely sunshine and heat. Uh, something funny, I wanted to uh, mention it to you. I read it, you know, when I was reading through the, the newspapers uh, that I had gone through my, my um, pamper basket. And this is a Danish uh, thing that's been happening for many years. Uh, and it, it was last week in, in Copenhagen, uh, there is a Santa Claus uh, convention. Here we are, you can see pictures of me here. Now, th this is nothing new. They have been meeting here in Copenhagen, let me just get the date for you, uh, since 1957. It started off in 1957 and it's held at the uh, oldest amusement park in the world, which is in our back garden basically, in the deer park, it's called Bakken. Oldest amusement park in the world and it's in the middle of a deer park. And it's really funny and if you go there in September when the amusement park is closed, you can see, see the deer walking in and out, you know, amongst the, uh, the rides. It's crazy. I'll see if I can get some pictures this year. Anyway, uh, this went on, uh, this happened last week. It was the 23rd to the 26th of July. And now, you know, it starts as a Danish thing, but now there are Santa Claus from all over the world who come to this convention. Can you see them? <gasps> Can you imagine? And there's Piero, who's uh, the, main, the main man at, uh, at the amusement park at back. Can you imagine <laughs> with your, your big bushy beard and your Santa Claus, uh, I'm not going to say costume because they're all, it's true, it is Santa Claus, in, in, their, um, in their uniforms, and can you imagine that this time last week? <gasps> so uh, anyway, hats off to them. I've actually seen them around and about Copenhagen uh, in previous years. We weren't here last week to see it, but it's such a sight when you see them and, you know, and they're down at the sea, you know, getting their feet wet. So anyway, so I'm not going to complain about the, the weather. Though you'll see, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that this is not the outfit I had planned to wear today. I had to resort to a dress because it's incredibly hot. We're, we're hoping the weather will break today. Let's wait and see. Anyway, Plan and Play Day, Tuesday in Fly Lady Land, is the day that you can look at it as a, a, a desk day. And I know a lot of you have problems with menu planning. I've made menu planning videos before. I'll put them up there and I'll put them as a pinned comment. The main thing to know is we are not getting out all the cookbooks and starting to milk cows and make cheese. We're just keeping it very simple and we're feeding ourselves and our family. We are not going from maybe buying takeout five days a week to making Michelin restaurant starred food uh, and, and making everything ourselves. Where the, there, there is a, a middle way and that's what we're going for. So and I, I've already set the timer and I'll show you what I, I normally do. What I normally do is, first of all, you're going to use what you already have. Don't go spending more money on food. Let, let's use up what we have. I check my cupboards and, you know, I, I store my food, uh, you know, the, the canned stuff and, and dry, dry goods. Those are in the kitchen bench, uh, the, the kitchen bench behind this table, that's actually uh, drawers. That's where I keep things. So have a wee look in there. Maybe you bought 
something that was on offer like 10 cans of uh, Tintinatos, start using those up, think how you can use those. Maybe you bought pasta that was on offer, uh, beans, you know, rice, anything like that. You, you know, look there, see what you've got, you know, too much of and think about that. Then you're going to look in your fridge, same thing. What, what needs used up? Maybe you've got some vegetables that can be used in a quiche, a tart, a soup with pasta. You know, use what you've already got. And also the freezer, because sometimes we kind of, you know, buy things on offer and stash it in the freezer and then we keep on bringing more stuff in. Uh, I, I've started keeping a, a wee notebook this, and, and I didn't buy the notebook. This is one that my, my uh, DD16 had decluttered. And I've started writing down when I buy, for example, chops or uh, minced beef, you know, ground beef. If I buy things that, you know, I put that in there and then when I make my menu plan, I just say, oh, uh, well, I mean, I've just seen something right now. I've got some prawns that uh, a half bag, a uh, big bag of prawns that I'm going to use up. Um, so that will be the basis for something for this week. And, and then I can check it off and I know what I've got left. So I keep a kind of running list of what is in the freezer. Now, you, you can menu plan in lots of different ways. I've tried lots of different ways. Don't do, you don't need to do what I'm doing. Pick the method that suits you. And it may, you, you may need a wee bit of trial and error. Uh, now you can either take, you know, kind of a uh, notebook and, and I also had the one with the kind of, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, da 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 da. That's fine, you can do it that way. Um, I kind of plan seven days, but then often I'll move things around depending on what we're doing or if my husband is working late or traveling. So, and I, but I've got the food ready, um, you know, in the house and then I can just switch up the days. You may want to go down the road of, this is something I showed you before in one of the other videos. When we tried this, didn't really work for us, but may work for you. You, you write down, you know, you kind of brainstorm what are the main things that you make. And you, let's face it, we all make the same things like spaghetti bolognese. Uh, okay, maybe you don't make haggis pie. <laughs> we have haggis pie quite a lot. Um, breakfast for dinner. Um, breaded chops, spaghetti carbonara, uh, shepherd's pie, roast chicken. If you brainstorm those, you can, you know, write them down on wee sticky notes and then just put them down and then you just keep on moving them on your calendar. And that way it kind of frees you up to start thinking about, well, maybe, you know, uh, on Wednesday of this week, I'll, I'll try something a bit different and find a recipe from Pinterest but you don't want to go down that Pinterest trail uh, in the beginning because you're going to spend two or three hours there and then you're going to sit back and think I still haven't planned the menu so set your timer and you know brainstorm what you normally make ask the kids ask them to write down on a, a sticky note their three favorite dishes for summer for winter you know, and then add them in and remember here we are not going as I said from eating take away five days a week to you know milking the cow and making our own cheese and pickling vegetables and all that make sure that you plan also for a day for leftovers you know maybe you've got some leftovers and um, maybe you can cook extra chicken so you can use the leftover chicken the next day in a curry or a soup you know we're, we're all full of ideas uh, and also plan for now where is it mm, restaurant so here's one that Madidi uh, had written down actually plan to have one day every second or third week that you go out to a restaurant or you know for lunch or dinner you, you, you don't need to be doing it all yourself and it doesn't all have to be gourmet food uh, especially right now in the summer because summer's a bit difficult you know it's hot and maybe the, the kids are at home so you know I've, I've said this before keep it really simple you don't need to make this too complicated you know, buy uh, some kind of good healthy pizza from the supermarket and just with a tray of, uh, you know, veggies, you know, cut up your cucumber, pepper, some nice cherry tomatoes, uh, you know, uh, fresh peas, whatever you have. Just, just keep it really, really simple. That's what I do. So anyway, and I've had a wee look in um, the store cupboard and then the fridge and then the freezer. 
And what I do these days, that you know, this is my planner. This is my wee planner. It's made from a Wonder Woman. And thoroughly modern Millie. And I don't want to show you what's in my calendar, but here we are. I'll, I'll find a, a page that's kind of completely blank. Uh, on my planner, this is a Danish one, so don't, don't ask for the name of it. Oh, here we go. Um, it's got a place where I can write it down. So as I say, I, I just write down um, seven ideas, including something like maybe takeaway or leftovers. And then it doesn't really matter if we kind of swap over Monday and Thursday or Tuesday and Wednesday. Just the fact of having a plan to work from, that, that, that's, that's really going to help you. And if you can't do the seven days, don't worry about it. Just start off with two or three. The main thing is that you actually have some food in the house. Um, and also keep on hand, you know, I keep on hand things like uh, big bags of uh, meatballs from Ikea, because I can easily have the meatballs from Ikea in the crock pot with a jar of uh, spaghetti sauce. You know, I can put that on in the morning and then just make up some pasta or rice and boom, you have, uh, you know, a, a dinner. Not the most fantastic dinner, but you know, with a wee bit of cheddar cheese on the top, Bob's your uncle and everybody's at least got something in their tummy. So, so keep a few things on hand so that if, uh, you know, and this has happened to all of us, you have to go off to the um, emergency ward with the kids because they have, you know, got their finger caught in a car door or jumped off a um, something at school. And, you know, we've all been there, done that. Make sure that you have a few kind of emergency things in your pantry so that, you know, you're, you're not kind of panicking and having to go out looking for food. But you've got something that you can make that's quick and simple. Anyway, quick and simple. <laughs> And that's what I was hoping for today. But anyway, uh, 12 minutes and I'm, and I'm going to finish it off here. Uh, the other thing is plan and play day Tuesday. Also a day to kind of look ahead, look in your calendar. Have you got birthdays coming up? Do you need to buy a gift? Do you need to send a card? Uh, are you planning something? Remember and plan some play. I'm, I, I've already started planning some play. Next week when my um, besties are back in Copenhagen, I'm going to see a film with uh, my, my Danish bestie Helena and her daughter and my daughter. We're going out for some food and we're going to see the new uh, Mamma Mia. And I, I spoke to my mum the other day. You know my mum, she is always, <laughs> she's always out and about with her cronies. Uh, and she's always seen everything first. And Anyway, and I said to her, you know mum, what was it? And she said, well, you know Diana, it is, it's very cheesy. Uh, but she enjoyed it, and I mean, the music's good, so, uh, she, you know, she said, you know, I wouldn't go and see it, uh, you know, with any men, but, you know, it, it's a girl's thing, so so that's what we're doing next week, we're having a wee girl's night out and going to see Mamma Mia, uh, and I'm going to get in touch with my friend Anne-Marie, because I haven't seen her for ages, I'm a um, friend from New Zealand, uh, who's been here longer in Denmark than I have, Catherine, we'll probably go and see some stand-up comedy, so... Make sure that you plan for some play for yourself. Yeah, and I've already had my play today because I've been down swimming at the beach. Anyway, that's enough for me. I shall see you later this week because I really want to talk about the DYT thing. And I know you've all got questions about why I'm suddenly posting gold shoes instead of silver shoes. So anyway, keep, keep cool out there. Remember the Santa Claus is in July and um, See you very soon. Okay, Diane in Denmark saying, live long and prosper. May the Danish sugar and heat be with you. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.